Hello my dear friends, you are on the military summary channel and this short video we are going to discuss the events that took place during the previous 10 hours. And the most important updates are coming from Artumovsk. The, if you remember yesterday we discussed that some forces, Ukrainian forces in the western part of Artumovsk took a decision to leave their position. Yesterday we talked that possibly that was the parts of 241st Territory Defense Brigade. But for example today the Russian sources are reporting that as a result of clashes they managed to establish control over the railroad station so let's go back to the western sources map and if we take a look at this map we're gonna see that geographically the railroad station is located here in the central part like somewhere on the road n32 this one so uh, let's update this map for better understanding. So currently the Russians controls the west, the central part of Bakhmut and as a result of clashes during the previous night, as a result of a decision that Ukrainian forces took uh, in this area to step back, the Russians managed to establish control over the railroad station and furthermore some Russian sources are saying that they managed to cross the railroad station, the railroadways and to establish a small bridgehead on this side of the, of the western part of Bakhmut. And this is a very bad and very critical situation for the Ukrainian because let's update this map we know that currently the Russians have some progress on the north of this area and the Russians have uh, progress on the south in the, near the uh, square of the MiG-17 statue so something like this on the south something like this on the middle part of this area and on the north if you take a look at this map we see that this situation remind us the same situation the same story in the central part of Bakhmut the Russians first established control over the industrial zone on the north furthermore the Russians developed their bridgehead from the south and at some uh, points of time the Russians tried to cross the river Bakhmutka in the vicinity of the marketplace and that was the uh, time when the Russians established a bridgehead in the vicinity of marketplace so now we can see the same picture the Russians attacked from the south and the Russians were attacking from the north trying to develop and now the Russians managed to cross the railroad station, railroad ways, and now they're attacking the central part. We see the situation for the Ukrainians is critical, and we see that within the next few days, or maybe weeks, the Ukrainians will be collapsed completely, and they will be forced to step back from the southern part, because now they're currently almost encircled, and they will be forced to step back from the northern part. So we'll see for, we'll wait for more updates from this area, but the situation become more and more critical for the Ukrainians. Now let's talk about other the updates on the map the mm, Institute of Study of War map uh, for the first time since the beginning of the special military operation shown that the Liman Pierre on the Kupens front line is currently under Russian control when talking about the other maps for example the Russian source sources map uh, is already uh, show this information show this information there are no changes but this is for the first time for the Institute of Study of War map. So that means that the Russians do have some progress in this area and it confirms by many maps, many sources, and now the Russians are ready to start another step, another page of this operation in direction of Kupensk. Uh, now let's talk about other updates on the ground. The Russians during the previous night published a lot of videos of attack using their drone Lancet. As a result of those attacks, they showed that they destroyed few uh, artillery systems in the vicinity of Seversk. The Russians published a video of destroyed art, uh, of destroyed. Uh, artillery system Grad in the Grab Krab in the vicinity of Bakhmut and also the Russians published uh, a video and photo confirmation or the, the or the Ukrainians about deployment of the uh, new artillery systems 152 artillery system Dana of 110 mechanized brigade and that's it for this short update military summer channel reminds you can many violence in ukraine thank you for watching subscribe to my channel put your likes join my patreon have a good day bye bye